Hi everyone, I've got a really nice strong cup of coffee and it's coffee time talk and today we commemorate the uh, life of Saint Anthony of Padua who lived in Lisbon in Portugal and I know he's, um, he's now doctor of the church and greatly loved by many of us and so I'd like to read from today's lectionary um, because I think that the readings really speak to our current situation. I'm recording this during lockdown in 2020 um, here in the United Kingdom. So, in the Collect we read or pray this prayer, um, grant that with his assistance as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help, O Lord, in every trial through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, that we might know the help of the Lord in every trial. Um, and, strange, somebody's just flashed up on my screen as I'm recording this. Um, pray for me, I'm under attack. So Lord, we just lift up that... Uh, individual and pray peace be still and uh, whatever attack that you are under my dear brother and whoever or sister whoever is watching this right now lord we just pray for your peace and your calm and a soundness of mind may you hear and respond to the love of the holy spirit and may your mind be focused upon the Lord and every evil entity be gone in Jesus' name. Be gone in Jesus' name. Everything opposed to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I say that through the authority of Christ. In Jesus' name. Peace be still. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord, for that. Moving on uh, back to... The I mean, you know, prayer has no distance and no time. So just receive that prayer into your heart. If you need to stop the playback and just go into a time of quietness with the Lord or spiritual warfare, just do it. Because uh, this is, we're recording these. It's for you and for all of us to enter into a greater deliverance and a freedom to serve our Lord Jesus Christ. And there's people being set free through some of these videos who have had addictions or mindsets that have held you back for years from entering into a new dimension of faith, a new fullness of the Holy Spirit, where the Lord is able to invade those areas of our life that perhaps we don't or can't talk about even to uh, our confessors. And the Lord is working through that so that you can open up and share because it's the love of Christ that's been spread abroad in our lives and in our hearts. And it's the love and acceptance of Christ that creates a safe space, a safe haven where we can allow ourselves to be vulnerable. Uh, and when I say that, vulnerable to ourselves, vulnerable in prayer, vulnerable to cry out to God in that secret place. The Bible talks about the closet, go into your closet and shut the door and pray um, in, in isolation. And some of us need to do that just to close the door and allow our true heart to communicate with the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm angry, or Lord, I'm desperate, or Lord, this besetting sin has snared me for perhaps most of your life and the Lord Jesus Christ is saying I understand I cleanse you I heal you I forgive you stay close to me and you will be led to the path of life just one step one day one hour at a time so the Lord accepts you as you seek him and just say Lord I am nothing but you are everything Oh, Amen. Um, I don't know who that was for. Obviously, I didn't plan that out ahead of time. I'm going to close today by reading the first reading from today's um, reading from 
the prophet Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 to 3 on this commemorative feast of Saint Anthony of Padua the Spirit of the Lord has been given to me for the Lord has anointed me he has sent me to bring good news to the poor to bind up the hearts that are broken to proclaim liberty to captives freedom to those in prison to proclaim a year of favor from the Lord, a day of vengeance for our God, to comfort all those who mourn, and to give them for ashes a garland, for mourning the robe, for mourning the, for mourning robe, the oil of gladness, for despondency, praise. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have taken the robe of grief and despondency and despair, that you are removing it from us and giving us the garment of praise. Praise is so important to praise our God. And so, as I close today, remain an attitude of thanksgiving and praise an expectant faith to see genuine and positive incremental change in your life, not because of what I am, but because the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing between soul and spirit. And the Lord is, by His Spirit, bringing that health and healing to your soul that you've longed for in your spirit for so long, dear friend. I know this is speaking to some here, and if you have a friend or know someone that will benefit by this video, please look at the links and follow them. Um, they'll be on the screen at the end here. And God bless you is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.